The morning traffic report rarely makes for easy listening. The Monash coming into town flat out, Stud Road to Warrigal Road, Westgate very slow. Researchers used real-time data to measure the extra time spent driving because of congestion, with Melbourne ranked 25 out of 38 global cities. Part of our activities are that we actually are mapping out the road network at such a detailed level we're capturing things like the posted speed limits. The Western Ring Road with a speed limit of 100 kilometres an hour records an average weekday speed of 78 kilometres an hour. The Westgate wasn't much better, while on Kingsway and Alexandra Parade average speeds are nearly half the limits and on Hoddle Street it's 32 kilometres an hour below the posted limit. We know that the fundamental way to address these issues is get on and deliver the transport infrastructure that our city and state needs. The RACV wants more clear ways. I think uh, the government really needs to look at some of the key arterial corridors and see whether uh, on-street parking can be removed to provide bus lanes or bike lanes or extra traffic lanes. For those looking to avoid the traffic on public transport, Melbourne again ranks 25th, with 29% of the city more than one kilometre away from a bus, train or tram stop. But even in areas of the city that are served by public transport, a lack of frequency means it's often not a convenient option. Particularly in the outer suburbs, um, public transport is, is quite poor. You might have a bus running every 30 to 60 minutes. Even the trains, which are meant to be the backbone of the network, might be only every 20 minutes. Today there were no trains at all on parts of the busy Dandenong and Gippsland line, with tracks closed for three weeks to allow for power and signalling upgrades, ahead of the introduction of new high-capacity trains. Passengers forced onto buses are being offered free travel for the duration of the works. Andrew Lund, Nine News.